Hey everyone, it is Char from Char's Fascination. I'm trying to record on both devices at the same time. <laughs> this isn't exactly working. Anyway, I got my Fabric Mart package today. And I'm not too happy with FedEx. Like, y'all are serious? Like, you messed up bad. You left. You didn't even knock. You had instructions to knock. My package came ripped. Right? Now this is my mystery fabric and some other things that I had ordered. So let me get that open. And yes, I am sitting somewhere different. So yeah, let me get this open. And, um, I'm trying to be, like, extremely careful because there's some mysterious things in here today. And what's so mysterious about this? Well, Fabric Mart just happens to have mystery fabric. Ooh. And I'm sorry, this is, like, dim lighting right here. Like, right here it's not dim lighting. Titten, stop ripping the furniture. The cat always does that. Um, bad titten. Um, anyway, so on to the mysteries of things and such. Um, <laughs> I'm not sure that for Instagram you'd be able to see it right away, so I'm going to pause you. Well, no, I'm not going to pause you. That'd be like rather puzzle. <laughs> Um, okay, here's mystery fabric number one. Oh my gosh! You can see this better over on my YouTube channel. I'll try to post it later. Oh, there we go. Isn't that beautiful? Oh my gosh. The invoice for this is mystery knit of the day. And it is a stretch because it says it right there. <laughs> but this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. You know what? I'm excited for this mystery fabric. Um, Viv Mom said to keep her updated. And this is their mystery woven. Okay, well, like you guys know, I'm trying to go outside of my comfort zone. Wait, there was something we were doing on the history bounding community. Going outside of your comfort zone. Oh my gosh, girl, there you go. Okay, I got five yards of this, and they only had three yards of this left, so that's okay. I'm not mad at that. Oh, my new threads. I did order these. These aren't a mystery, but I did order these, and she's like, do you want me to just, like, match your one fabric, and I'm like, no, you know what? Make it a mystery. So, <laughs> she tossed in a bunch of different colors for me, which I highly appreciate. Oh, thank you. I highly appreciate that. Now, here's something that you've never seen on my channel before. Oh, railroad denim. That's why the package was so heavy. Railroad denim. And it is machine wash. I got four yards of this. Oh my gosh. This was $7.50 a yard. This was... How much was this a yard? Dollar. I'm going to sound like bib. $1.99 a yard. For mystery fabric. There you go, bib. $1.99 a yard. <laughs> um, I know like... Uh, Viv, Viv Mom says, she always says, $1.99. Okay, well, now we're both into, like, $1.99 fabric from Fabric Mart. Fabric Mart is wonderful. They ship to other countries, too. Don't be afraid to go to FabricMart.com. Check out all their stuff. Um, if you sew, make yourself an account. Like, look, I got... Let's see this one right here 
the bigger one that was more costly but you know what I'm not mad at that there's a hundred yards and then the other stuff is 800 yards and um come on the price people the price I know you can't see it on Instagram dollar eighty there you go dollar eighty I'm excited for this I'm excited to bring you mystery fabric I might start doing that every month if they keep it please fabric mark please continue your mystery fabrics I would so enjoy this so this is my package that well one of my packages that I was waiting for but you know what I'll just continue to wait for the other one and be patient about it it's fine um because you know like I bring you guys like really cool stuff like this and look at that stretch in there. I'm thinking of things I want to make out of this already like tank tops maybe some shorts this would be great material for making shorts or making you know shorts and a tank top some sort of like nice summer shirt out of it a lot of people would say well why don't you make a jacket out of that well we will see what happens right so anyway anyway everyone I hope that you have enjoyed this and I'm sitting here in a pair of pajama pants just doing this video lounging in the living room so um anyway oh my gosh I'm so excited for this Oh, and if you want to know, I already have a couple of designs drawn out in my cranium for that railroad fabric. Um, now, when I was a kid, um, somebody that used to work for Union Pacific gave me a, um, let me adjust my cameras, had gave me a pillow off of an old train car. This is right, off of an old train car. And you're going to love this. I had that thing for so long. And you know what it was made out of? Railroad denim. Railroad denim. I'm trying to keep this here and make it so that you can see my face. But it was made out of railroad denim. And it lasted for so freaking long. Think about what you can do with railroad denim. Once you start to run out of that for making a garment. I'm trying not to cover my face. For making a garment um you can take the rest of it and turn it into a pillow oh my gosh mm -hmm. you can turn it into a pillow absolutely uh, i know it's like now it's kind of obscure how i'm looking at the cameras right sorry about that um ooh, what did it do that for only want this screen um but anyway guys um I kind of want like double screen. Is that weird? That's weird. Um, I guess it's because I hit a couple of keys on my keyboard on my laptop and it went like split screen to something else. It wasn't something I was on either. Is that weird? Tell me that's not weird. That's weird. Anyway, guys, um, <laughs> I don't have much time left for my Instagram video, but. That was my fabric mart haul. And um, like I said, the only downside to to using the FedEx right now is they're kind of copping an attitude. As you can see, the package was ripped. I'm not too pleased with that. They need to actually treat these packages as if they are their own. Now, would you want your own package treated like that? No, I don't think so. And they need to be really courteous. Like if somebody has a thing saying you need to knock, you need to knock. Okay? And, um, you know, it was like women's intuition going off in the head. Kind of like spidey senses. Um, of check my email. And I check my email every day. I 
do check it every day. And that's why I'm cleaning, you know, like my other package last week. And I do appreciate Slay Glam getting back to me saying they're going to check on that. Well, I'm still waiting. I'm not being mad. I'm just being very patient. Because I do have people ask me, when is your next Slay Glam box? And, um, you know, I, I, what can I do except for wait, right? So, anyway, um, I'm just trying to get good lighting with this and not cover my face right there like that. Anyway, so, um, stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and <laughs> I didn't do that right. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay positive, and as always stay blessed. Remember, some things do come in the mail when companies actually do their job. Now, I'm not out in anybody. It could just be the delivery service. I don't know. They said they were awaiting my item. And apparently there was supposed to, oh yeah, including that there is 21 items. So I will see all of you in the next one.